going to give you some special tips on how to improve your, your rising trot. Most people talk about the sitting trot. Today I'm going to talk about the rising trot. So let's get started. No more bouncing. Hi there, my name is Laura and welcome to another video. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for sticking around and enjoying these videos. And if you'd like to win more ribbons at your next horse show, improve your riding and training, or generally like horsey related stuff, then remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Now let's talk about your rising trot. To me, rising trot is the hallmark for your riding when you're learning how to ride. When you're a beginner rider, it's one of the first major goals that people who are starting out to ride really want to accomplish. And once you get past those wobbly legs, slapping the seat in the saddle, and you get into that synchronicity with your horse, you just seem to soar. And I'm going to give you three really good tips to help you get there faster. So here are some tips that you can use in your next riding session to help you improve your rising trot. Before you can get really good at your rising trot, you have to understand how the horse moves its legs. You have to understand how you move when you are doing your rising trot. And you have to understand how those two things mesh together so that you can get synchronized with the horse. So first off, let's talk about the way the horse moves. This is really easy to understand by watching this video here because the horse moves using diagonal pair of legs. That means right front leg and left hind leg move together at the same time, followed by left front leg, right hind leg together, then a moment of suspension where there's no legs moving. And that's really what makes the trot so bouncy. So to make it less bouncy, rather than bouncing on your horse's back or doing sitting trot all the time, you can do what's called a rising trot or posting trot. And you move up when the horse is moving up and you sit down in the saddle when the horse is down on the ground. So when you move up and down with the horse, because you don't want to be going down when the horse is going up. It's not very comfortable at all, right? So you can see here from this video that the horse is moving diagonal pair of legs. Right front, left hind move together. Left front, right hind move together. That's called diagonal. So if the horse was, if you think of a horse like a rectangle, going from one corner to the opposite corner makes a diagonal line. So the horse is moving diagonal pair of legs. That's why when you hear someone say, you're on the wrong diagonal. You're sitting with the wrong leg. And we can talk a little bit about that as well, but I want to get to the other parts of this. When a horse is trotting, it gives an even one, two, one, two, one, two rhythm. When the horses push off the ground, it gives a moment of suspension where there's no legs touching the ground. And that's when we are standing up in the stirrups. And as the horse comes down and puts his legs back, the opposite pair, the opposite diagonal pair of legs on the ground, that's when we're sitting back in the saddle again. When the horse lifts up for a moment of suspension, we move up with the horse so that we move with the horse when it's going up. And when it comes back down on the ground, we get softly back into the saddle again. And that's what gives us up, down, up, down, up, down. We don't want to be coming down while the horse is going up or going up when the horse is going down because then we'll meet halfway in the middle and you'll be slapping on the horse's back. And you see that's often with people who are learning how to ride and learning how to do their diagonals and posting trot. It doesn't take long though to feel what the horse is doing and synchronize your rising up and down with the horse's movement. Sometimes riders, when they're starting to learn how to do their posting trot or rising trot, they stand way too high up off the saddle. So they're standing up in the stirrups with their legs totally straight and their seat over top of the front of the saddle. And that's wrong. Keep your seat over the middle of the saddle and just slowly let the horse push you out of the saddle. If you are mechanically doing it, then you are not feeling the horse. Be relaxed, be feeling so that you can feel the horse when the horse is going up and let the horse push you up out of the saddle. Sounds really easy. And once you start to feel it, 
it will become natural. But if you're mechanical, you're just going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, and your horse may do in a completely different rhythm, then you're not going to be meshing together at all. Another tip about riding your rising trot is to think of, rather than going up and down, think of swinging your hips forward and back. So you're moving forward when the horse is moving forward and back when the horse is coming down to the ground. Because when the horse is trotting, it's pushing itself forward. If you're just going up and down, you're not feeling that the horse is moving forward and you need to be feeling and moving with the horse. So think of moving your seat forward and back, kind of like a pendulum. So you're probably wondering, what are some exercises that I can do, that you can do, to help improve your rising trot? Well, I've got a few that I really like to use and really practice on my own as well. And this, these exercises help riders to feel what the horse is doing rather than just mechanically going one, two, one, two, one, two, to actually feel what the horse is doing and measure and slow down and feel the horse pushing you out of the saddle. My favorite exercise is called the up, up, down exercise. And I think you can see a demonstration of it here in this video. I'll try to track that down for you. To start the up, up, down exercise, begin at the trot in two point or jumping type position. Two point or jumping type position is another really good exercise to help strengthen your leg and develop a feel for your horse. By the way, if you already have an excellent rising trot, then move on to stage two, which is strengthening your legs by doing a rising trot without stirrups. And I know you can do that, and I know it will help you for sure. Rising trot without stirrups is stage two. Once you've established your trot, and instead of going in your rising trot, up, down, up, down, up, down, go stand in your stirrups for two beats. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. So rather than going up, down, up, down, up, down, go up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Stand in your stirrups for two beats, down in the saddle for one what beat. What I usually see people do is standing in your stirrups for two beats, followed by sitting in the saddle for two beats. They go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, which is not correct. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. This way, it forces you to feel what the horse is doing underneath you. Now, I challenge you to do that and also challenge you to send me a video of you doing that. Love to hear from you. You can send it to me at thistleridge at hotmail.com. Love to hear from you guys. What's your favorite exercise to improve your riding position? I've given you my favorite exercise. Now, how about you give me your favorite exercise? If you'd like to win more ribbons at your next horse show, improve your riding and training, or generally like other horsey-related stuff, stay tuned because we got more videos just like that that can help you with your riding. Thanks now. Bye.